Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up dual monitors like I have here. If you both have the same um, um, aspect ratio, like 16 by 9 or 4 by 3, this is 16 by 9, this is 4 by 3, um, it would be really awesome to have level. I mean, that's best. That's the recommendation I have. But um, right now I have a 4 by 3 monitor and a 16 by 9 monitor. 17 inches, 17 inches. Okay. You're going to need, okay, so if your monitor is um, only analog, it's analog only, both of my monitors are analog, they do not have, they do not have TVI, which looks like that. You're going to need one of these, and then if your video card has one VGA and one DVI, you can, um, you can, you can have one of these. If they have two DVIs, you need two of these. So, um, what you're going to want to do is, if you have one DVI plug, you're going to want to plug this into your DVI plug so it converts it to VGA, so you can have two VGA ports. It's going to be a little bit bulky on the back, but it's going it to, works, it works properly. So. Okay, so now that we have that, all we need to do is get the monitor. VGA, the VGA from the monitor plugged into the back of the computer. You gotta tell which one this is. Okay, this one's to my second monitor, so I'm gonna plug it into the second plug, which is the adapter. It converts it from DVI to analog. So we're gonna just plug this in right here. Sorry if it's too dark for you guys on YouTube, but. Anyway, and then your first monitor that you want to choose, which is the um, 16 by 9 monitor that I use, is going to be my first monitor, so you plug it into the first plug. Okay. And then there's some preferences on um, your resolution settings that you change to be able to get both monitors running up up and running if you want um, extended monitors it will show um, the main monitor with the uh, start bar and everything on your first monitor or your second monitor whichever one that you want and it will show a blank, blank screen on the other one you can drag something from over there to there that's what a lot of people like to use but if you have a the same aspect ratio for both monitors um, you can have a huge monitor and you can have start bar start from there and end right there. But I choose to have um, that one right there to be the main one and that right there to be the extended monitor because they're not the same aspect ratio. And what I'm going to do is I am going, sorry I'm recording this with an iPod touch so it's kind of complicated. I'm going to plug in all the rest of my stuff, Ethernet, audio, power, IEC or ICE, I don't remember, USB, I don't know what this goes to, but I'm just going to plug it in because I remember putting all the USB plugs I need down here. I think this is the mouse because the mouse I have is Microsoft and Microsoft makes their plugs like this. And then this one. And then, and also, if you have a TV that has S video, and sometimes I want to watch something on my TV from my computer, I just take this S video plug, plug it into the back of that, my TV, and plug it into my video card. So, whenever I want to um, watch something, all I do is just change the settings I have on my computer to the TV so I can um, watch what I want to from my computer on my TV. It comes in handy sometimes, but it's not that great of quality. But if you have an HDTV, you can just use a DVI to HDMI, so you can um, um, watch digital quality video on your HDTV from your computer. There's my TV right there. And um, I just plugged in my line in for my variable out on my TV so I can have the audio going out to my stereo you see right there um, I'm gonna push back my computer and 
I'm going to start it up. Oh, wait, I forgot the plug. Power on the back of my computer. But anyway, there we go. And I forgot the power on the power strip. And all the power on. There we go. That one, that power's on. The TV turned on. There we go. I have a DVD burner there for extra handiness whenever you need a DVD burner. There we go. It's coming up on my main monitor. See? That one's still on standby because it has still it hasn't recognized it yet. And my computer did not shut down properly last time, so let's just start up like that. Oh. Thank you for everyone that's been this far into the video, and you'll see how to change the settings. I replaced that um, VGA cable that I just plugged into my second monitor with this one, because, I mean, that blue one, because this one um, had some problems. I do not know what it was, but it was making extra lines. No pins are bent or corroded, I don't think. I guess it's just worn out. Anyway, here's my computer. I'm typing my password. If it works. Yep. Okay. And the other monitor's coming out of standby. As you can see, it's green. And there we go. I have my dual monitors up. Installing device software. I don't know what that is, but maybe something interesting. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, I just opened up Google Chrome. Because I didn't mean to. It's gonna lag a little bit. I think there's gonna be like a voice recognition thing gonna come up. Because I don't. I need to. Oh no, I removed that. I forgot. Stopped it. Okay, see. So, see, it has we have here my TV my second monitor and my first monitor. This is the 16x9 monitor, as you can see it's wide right there. This is my 4x3 monitor, which is that square one. And my Google Chrome is starting up. And see what I mean by, you drag something over like that. It's not exactly even, but if you have the same model of um, monitors, it would be even and it would be really great quality. But anyway, here, you can extend the desktop display or you can copy the display to your TV or your, um, I forgot what I was about to say, to your um, second monitor. But I just extend this display and make sure your resolution for your displays are correct and you're done. And my hide my IP thing. Let's see, I'm gonna restore it because I shut down my computer wrong because um, it froze up randomly. So I'm just gonna get back to that later and that's how you hook up dual monitors for your computer and thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please rate comment subscribe and I will make more thank you